Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings, everybody. I, wow, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh my God. I have, I have so many emotions all at the same time. Um, it might be a little dark. I'm sorry. But um, you have to realize it's after 3 a.m. here in Dakar, Senegal. I can't believe it. You don't understand. I've known Abdul for 10 years, 10, 11 ish years. And since I've known him, all he's talked about was Dakar. And since I've married him almost for almost eight years, all he's wanted to do was bring me to Dakar. I didn't know that it would happen like this, but Allah is perfect. Allah doesn't make mistakes. And if it's happening like this, that means that this is the way that it's supposed to happen. Um, yeah, so much I want to say. Um, I'm not going to make this video very long, but like I'm, I'm lit right now. They keep telling me to get some rest, but I, I just feel like I have to talk to y'all real quick. I have to talk to the people I know. I have to talk to the people that I don't know. I have to talk to family. I have to talk to friends. I have to talk to strangers because I, I just feel like I have to. You have to understand that I operate on my feelings. I operate on my emotions. My mom, um, she would always tell me, you know, uh, she would tell me, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, that I go by my heart and I don't really go by my mind. And it's true, I do. I go off of my heart. So I'm getting on camera and I'm swallowing my fear um, and I'm sharing myself with y'all because I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this, you know? I don't know if you ever had just a feeling and you don't really know how to explain it and you don't really know why, but I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this and I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't know what's gonna happen in a day or a week or a year or 10 years, I have no idea. So this is so scary to just be talking to y'all and sharing my life with people that I know and that I don't know as this is unfolding. But like I said, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this. Um, all my husband talked about was taking me to Senegal and I'm here y'all, I'm in Senegal right now. I'm standing here and I think it's so beautiful that I'm here and it's while his soul is still free. Um, by that I mean his body has not been buried. Um, and when a person passes away before their body is nestled into the earth, their soul, their spirit is still free. So the belief is that he can still see me he can still hear me. He can still see everything. He can still hear everything. And my husband wanted to go to Paris. And my husband wanted to call me to Senegal. And if Allah has allowed his soul to still be free and see me and hear me, then that means that he has come all this way with me. That means that my husband's presence is right here in this room right now. I just can't see him and I can't hear him. But inshallah, he can see me. And they can hear me. And it means so much to me. Y'all don't understand that I more than love him. Okay? I know a lot of people keep saying, oh, Levon, you're strong, you're strong. I don't know how you're doing this. Boom, boom, blase, blase, blase. Y'all, I don't know either. You know, I don't know either. I have no idea. But I know that the love that this man planted in me is what's driving me. I know that Allah, I know that Allah is responsible for all of this. That's why I'm telling y'all, don't cry for me too long. Don't be sad for me too long. This is a love story. You understand? I've never told so many people this, and I'm not going to make this video very long, but I've never told so many people this. Shortly after I married my husband, I accepted Islam. And before I accepted Islam, I spent three days in what I believe was limbo, okay? I was neither here, I was neither there. I was somewhere in between. You understand me? I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't drink. I don't know what it was. Everything around me was just glowing. You understand? The only person that stayed with me and brought me out of that was my husband.
okay? I remember laying in the bed while I was going through this three days of my husband's family told him that I was getting the nur or the light. I remember laying in my bed during these three days, y'all. And I remember beings, beings, I don't know what they were. I would like to think that they were angels, but I don't know for sure. I just remember beings in white clothing surrounding my bed. And I was calm. I was scared, but I was calm at the same time. And in addition to those beings, physically, only my husband was there to bring me out of that. So when I tell y'all that this is a different kind of love story, it's otherworldly, it's beyond my comprehension, I'm not kidding y'all. He brought me out of that. I lived physically here on this earth plane with him and loved him and he loved me for almost eight years. And now that he is in transition into his grave, y'all, this is something completely new. But I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid, okay? I'm not afraid and I am okay. I know I got some people out there that are worried, worried about me. Somebody felt like maybe I wasn't grieving properly or boom, boom, boom. I don't know what it's gonna be once his body is in the ground because once his body is in the ground, then his soul is in his grave as well. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I don't know what it's gonna be. But if Allah gives me the strength, I want to share myself with you all because I feel like I, I'm supposed to, okay? And I want to tell y'all that something is coming. That's my main message for this video right now. Something is coming, okay? Something major, something big is coming. I don't know what, but I feel it. And my husband and I used to talk about this stuff all the time. And I was always afraid to talk to too many people about it or even get on camera because I know everybody not going to understand. Everybody is not into uh, the spiritual world. Everybody doesn't even believe in God. I understand that and I respect that. I respect that, you know, but I do. I know that Allah is real. And I just want y'all to know that something is coming. And if my husband's transition does anything for anybody, let it be a reminder to you, to me first, and to everybody else that we don't have a lot of time. None of us have a lot of time. We always want to think that we're going to get old and gray and walk on a cane and woo, -woo, -woo before we die. A lot don't promise us that. The only thing promised in this life is death. And I don't believe that death is a punishment, y'all. I guess that maybe that can help some people understand my outlook on this and, and how I believe that it's a love story. It's not a punishment. Death is not a punishment. People often think, well, why is God taking this person? God ain't taking nobody away from you. God loaned them to you in the first place. You understand? It's not a punishment. Death is a portal. It's a gateway. We're here on earth only for a temporary amount of time and we have to go back to the source from which we came and death is that portal back to the source. So all we can do is try to live our life the way we're supposed to live our life so that when our personal portal opens, we won't be scared to walk through. I got a whole lot of other stuff to tell y'all, a lot of stuff to share with y'all, but I don't want to make long videos. And I, oh, I did want to tell y'all, before all of this happened, I know some people were confused. I, I made this long video with all the details from the day I found my husband as a missing person all the way up until I was ready to leave America. All the details. And then I got scared and I didn't share it. So I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I will share it. I don't know. I have to look at it again. But I got scared because I don't know how people are going to look at me. I don't know what people are going to think about me. I, I don't know. You know, but I pray that y'all keep praying for me, you know, because y'all making some strong doers. I can feel it, boy. I can feel it. I can feel it in my heart. I can feel it from my toes all the way up. As I was traveling, I can feel all of y'all praying for me and giving me well wishes and, and positivity and righteousness and good vibes. I promise y'all it carried me. Allah allowed it to hit me and carry me. So y'all just keep praying that, that I won't be too scared to come on camera because... 
a lot of times I'm okay on camera. It's in front of people face to face where I get really, really shy. And so sometimes when I'm on camera, I think to myself, oh my goodness, somebody's going to be watching this. Somebody's going to be seeing this. And then I get scared, you know? So just, just pray that, that my fear goes away, okay? Because I believe that my husband will be proud of me right now because he loved it when I shared myself with people. So um, until my next video, y'all, thanks, 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 thanks for coming along with me. Thank you so much. You don't know what it means to me. Thank you for all your messages, all your texts, all your everything. I see all of them. My little thumb's going to fall off. I can't respond to everybody fast enough. I wish I could. But I see everything. I see everything. So the ones that hit me the deepest, I respond to those. So don't think that I'm leaving you out. I see everything. I see all of it. I love, 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 love you. I love you. And I mean that. Okay? My husband... Other than my grandmother, my husband was the only person that truly taught me how to say I love you and mean I love you. So when I comment on your post and when I make these videos and when I see you in person, when I hug you, when I kiss you, and when I tell you I love you, I love you. Okay? And I want you to go find as many people as you can, family, strangers, whatever, and you tell them that you love them too because that's my husband. My husband is love. Okay? So don't cry for me. Go love somebody for me. Salam alaikum. Peace and blessings.